Hello friends. Today we are doing a question on volume and surface area. This question is categorized as hots. We have one cone of radius six centimeter and height vertical height is eight centimeter. Six centimeter and vertical height is eight centimeter. So. Uh, this question um, is beautiful question. There's a sphere of radius r centimeter is immersed such that some of the water is overflows. So we have to find the fraction of water overflows. We have to find a fraction of water overflows. So uh, it is understood that ki volume of water overflows is due to the immersion of the sphere. So volume of water overflows flows overflows is equal to volume of sphere. So for that, we need to find the radius of the sphere. So I tell you the two methods to find the radius of the sphere. So first we have to find the slant height uh, of the cone that is um, B, C, A. The slant height of cone is uh, L that is AB or AC so we have to find this so L is equal to R square plus H square so that is um, 6 square plus 8 square that is 100 so L is supposed to be 10 so this is your 10 centimeter this is this is 10 okay so the first method is uh, to find the um, radius of the sphere is I just tell you one thing this is also R this is also R these all are tangents so we can check we can make a three triangles we can make a three triangles uh, okay so area of big triangle ABC area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle uh, AOB plus area of triangle BOC plus area of triangle COA so that is half into R into BC plus half into R into AB plus half into R into AC that is half into R into BC is 12 plus half into R into AB. AB is 10 plus AC is also 10. Half into R into 10. So into half into R is common. The 10 plus 12 plus 10. That is half into R into 32. An area of triangle is uh, uh, half into base into height. So half into base into height height is ad so half into 12 into 8 that is half into 12 into 8 that is half into 96 half will cancel your r is 3 centimeter this is your first method in which we use the tangent property so your radius is 3 centimeter okay this is your first method and second method to find radius is here you go this is your ball this is your 6 this is your radius this is your radius this is 90 this is also 90 this is the whole line and this is your a b this is your c this point is your e guys just check 
this is your r so the whole ad is your 8 so this is your 8 minus r and this is your r and this is the tangent this is the tangent so this is also 6 the whole is 10 so this is 4 the length of two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal so this is your 6 so now in triangle o e a we can apply pythagoras so that is 8 minus r whole square is equal to r square plus 4 square that is 64 plus r square minus 16 r is equal to r square plus 16 so your 48 is equal to 16 r so r is again what 3 so your r is 3 by two method you can apply any of them uh, in, in my advice um, uh, this is by using tangent and this is by using tangent earlier but by pythagoras but in both method you have to find the l got it now we have to find the fraction of water overflows that is uh, volume of sphere upon volume of cone दोस्तों यदि स्फीयर इसमें डलता नहीं तो पानी गिरता नहीं बिकॉज़ कोन ऑलरेडी पानी से भरा हुआ था इसके अंदर हमने स्फीयर फेंका तो वो पानी गिर गया हमें बताना है जितना पानी गिर गया उसका हमें फ्रैक्शन निकालना है कितना पानी गिर गया पूरे पानी में से जैसे आपके चार नंबर आए हैं 10 में से तो आपका फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मार्क्स यू गॉट इज 4 बाय 10 सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्फीयर अपॉन वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन दैट इज 4 by 3 pi r cube upon 1 by 3 pi r square h आपको बहुत ध्यान रखना है कि आपने capital R और capital H यूज करा हुआ है और आपने small r यूज करा हुआ है तो जब आप इसको solve करेंगे values डाल के आपका answer आ जाएगा 3 by 8